Good morning, YouTube. It is about 7 in the morning. My little family is still asleep, and I have just gotten um, myself going for the morning, and yeah, it's gonna be hopefully a great day. The sun is shining. Praise the Lord. We've had so much rain, so awesome, awesome, and welcome to my channel, everybody. So um, yeah, it's gonna be hopefully a Good morning, we'll get breakfast going. Blaze has been over helping a friend with his basement. They've had flooding for the fifth time in eight months. So they're jackhammering the whole basement cement floor. And he's been there until like one in the morning the last two days. I haven't seen him at all much. So it's been a lot of work for him and he's exhausted. So I just thought I'd let him sleep. And then um, this morning I'm gonna go for a walk with another new mama friend that I have. She has a three week old, so, and I've had six weeks already. Crazy how fast time goes. Here is my breakfast. I got two eggs, some spinach, some mushrooms, <coughs> coffee, and my water. <coughs> and she's not really happy. Breakfast is done. The kitchen is still a little dirty. I fed Nevaeh. She's got some hiccups. <laughs> yeah. Um, if I don't burp her enough, sometimes she gets hiccups and, um, she just eats quite a bit. So that is perfect because she's a growing little girl. I might end up taking a nap here because I am getting tired. It's 8.35. Um, been up since 5.35 about, so three hours already. Um, yeah, we'll see what the morning brings. I have gotten to learn how to be okay not putting things away right away. Like I said, the kitchen still has some breakfast stuff out. Blaze had to go help the friend with his basement again um, with the flooding and all that. So he is gone again for the third day. And I'm just so grateful that he's willing to help. That's awesome that he has such a good relationship with that friend. So, um, yeah, I just might watch a little YouTube while she falls asleep. And then... Um, myself might take a little nap. We'll see. Oh, I've been on a kick of watching Old World Home, by the way. I really have enjoyed it. So I went and watched all her Vega videos, Hillary's all her videos, backwards for some reason, because I just put it on the playlist and watched them all backwards. Anyways, so they've been fun. I enjoy watching other moms' vlogs now that I'm a mother, too. Nevaeh's down in her crib. Um, she's just been six weeks. Sometimes she doesn't always like to stay in her crib. Um, I did bounce her to sleep on my yoga ball. Um, I'm re-warming my coffee because it takes me forever to drink my coffee. And yes, I do drink coffee nursing. I drank it while pregnant too, so it has no effect on her. Um, so I'm going to work on these dishes. I don't have a lot. I need to wash all my pumping stuff and bottles. And um, then at 10, I'm going for a walk with a friend. And then I'll be feeding again right after that. So, like I said, it's a beautiful day out. It's supposed to be 80 degrees. Um, by the way, if you like my flannel, this was a thrifted flannel I found. I wore it in one of my other videos and then in my thrift haul that I just put up. So you'll have to watch that if you enjoy watching thrifting videos. Anyways, I'm going to work on these dishes right now. And then maybe take a short little nap. We'll see. I'm not, I don't feel tired right now, but I know by afternoon it'll hit me, and then later tonight it will. I'm being sick too, I want to make sure I get better. had the cloth diapers in the washing machine and they're in the dryer now. I do hang some of them outside as well so that they don't uh, get too worn out because I noticed the dryer, um, it, I just feel like they get worn out quicker. Let me know if you use cloth diapers and if you dry them or not. But um, I have another little laundry in the wash and I'm gonna clean off my microwave and stove top because I noticed it's a little gunky and a little greasy. And then I think we're still planning on a walk. Um, Nevaeh is fast asleep though, still in her swaddle too, so I don't know how a walk's gonna work. I will have to take her out of her swaddle, of course, but, um, I might arouse her a little bit, but she'll fall back to sleep, hopefully, and then when we get back, like I said, it'll be feeding time, so, yeah, I'm just gonna wipe these things off real quick. for our walk. 
Um, she went well into her car seat, so we're just gonna walk over to meet our friend and enjoy the stroll. We're back from our walk, Nevaeh eight. She's down for another nap, hopefully. Um, I've been blowing my nose constantly. I'm getting worse and worse, so I gotta go to our local drugstore and pick something up to take. Probably some like Alka-Seltzer and emergency packs or something like that. But anyways, uh, I gotta get some more laundry rotated through. Her diapers are done in the dryer. Gotta get those put together. Um, get Blaze and I's laundry into the dryer. Um, I'm gonna make some lunch for myself. Last night I made some chicken pasta. I'm gonna have some of that with some salad probably. Um, Blaze won't be coming home for any food, so it's just gonna be me. And uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna have for lunch. And I do get so much hungrier nursing. Like I have to eat every other every other hour basically. So I'm gonna make that for lunch and then I'll rotate the laundry. Okay, so here's my lunch. I got my pasta. I don't always warm it up um, just because I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I just eat it cold sometimes. But these are um, whole wheat noodles. I don't often have noodles. And then my salad. And I like to use um, brown mustard as my dressing a lot. I love brown mustard, spicy brown mustard. I don't care what brand it is. but And then just one more carrot and a little quarter of a sweet potato. That's what I wanted. And I have these brownies. I was going to have Blaze take them to the guys who are working on the basement that was flooded and he said there's so many treats over there that I should just freeze them. So I'm gonna do that after I eat. I'll stick these in the freezer and then I'll probably eat one too. And then I like to look at our grocery flyer um, just to see what they get on sale. Oh, avocados are, nine, avocados are 99 cents. I got them at Aldi for $1.20 last time. I am picking some up. So it's fun to just shop locally sometimes and these little sale flyers are so handy. To go by especially when they have all good deals their bananas normally are 79 cents so i know what i'm gonna be getting a few things and we do have a budget that we follow and this month we are way under so we're doing well which is awesome so um may's almost up anyways we got like two more days so i need to buy a few more groceries and if it runs into june that is just fine i made some of my own cold pressed coffee i just have it in this canister and then i have like a fourth a cup of almond milk in my jar and i'm gonna have some of this it's super easy to make cold press you just put a bunch of grounds in a canister i let it sit for 48 hours and there you got your cold press so we are walking out to our vet clinic which is also the ups pickup slash drop off so that's where we are headed um it is a very busy road that i'm on so um, i'm hoping she falls asleep too she has really been struggling this afternoon i did not accomplish anything yet and it's like 3 15. um i know that's the life of motherhood sometimes it's just been her needing to be held uh she's very restless as well but hopefully she gets a good nap in in this walk just look at the haze it's such a humid day our vet clinic is out of town as you can tell so i'm walking on the highway yep that's what i'm doing with the baby i'm sure you can see this all the water in these fields um it is may 30th that i am filming this and most of the time all the crops are in by now there's just water standing everywhere we are in the midwest in south dakota where we're at um it has been so flooded and just standing water, lots of farmers. Oh, vehicle. Lots of farmers have not been able to get their crops in. My dad's a farmer, so it's been very unfortunate for them too. So yeah, just kind of sad situation. Plus, it'll be really like brown in the late summer, early fall. Instead of having beautiful corn, it'll just be all brown. I got the sink cleaned out with some water in there. I'm gonna give her a little bath. We'll see how it goes. She still hasn't slept much. So other than that stroller ride and me holding her a little bit. And I'm sounding more and more stuffed up. So I don't know. 
We are your little roly polies. My little one fell asleep. She's in my wrap. I just thought I can get some things done if she is asleep in on me. Um, I'll probably try to put her down a little after seven. Uh, it's almost six right now. Uh, she might be hungry by then though too. She's been like cluster feeding. I don't know what's going on today. But yeah, I was able to get the dishes done. Anything I wanted to do this afternoon did not happen. Um, but we got quite a bit of walking in today because I walked for about 45 minutes with my friend this morning and then walked up to drop off that package and then went to our drugstore. So we got lots of walking in the stroller. <laughs> but yeah, she's, she's asleep and I'm gonna have a smoothie for supper. she's asleep I'm going to make some banana cookies and maybe some banana bread with my frozen bananas that I have so I go to the store our local store and they sell um, the rotten bananas so the brown bananas for 99 cents a bag so I just buy those and freeze them but sometimes they're actually good enough to eat because I love them brown but I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'll turn the oven on and I always throw in like a sweet potato or something else in the oven when I have it on just so that it's all ready and cooked because I like to have those on salads sometimes too, so. I made my banana cookies, and there they are. I put some butterscotch chips in them, raisins, and pumpkin seeds. They're delicious. They're not like a cookie cookie, they're pretty soft. I like them chewier, so just banana, oats, and then whatever else you wanna put in it. Um, I need to put the bottles away. Nevaeh is down for a while, anyways, and she'll wanna feed again. Um, yeah, so I am going to fold my giant stack of laundry on the chair and I have Old World Home from being casted on my TV. So. All right, y'all, so while I'm thinking about it, I need to pick my kale. It has gotten, <laughs> hey Maggie, extremely large, so I need to pick it. Um, I just used this really fun galvanized tin that I've had for a while um, and planted a couple flowers and then some cabbage in the middle to just make it more cute to have some flowers in it. So I gotta pick my kale here.
to call it a vlog there for you. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. There wasn't a lot going on today and Nevea struggled to sleep so I didn't film for a lot of the afternoon. But I love doing these because it's kind of fun documentation and I get to share a bit of my life with you guys. So anyways, if you haven't ever been to my YouTube channel, I'm Davey. Um, like you found out and I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs and homemaking and motherhood. So I'd love to have you join my channel. Anyways, have a blessed and wonderful night and I will talk with you in the next one. Bye.